In this video, we're going to talk about how to install Drupal 9. Now, before you begin, a couple of things just to remind you of. For this demonstration, I'm actually going to use XAMPP. Now, reminder, you're going to want to make sure you're in your htdocs folder, and this is where you're going to drag the downloaded Drupal zip folder. So, when you're ready to download, you're going to go to drupal.org download, and you can just download the Drupal zip. There are a lot of other options, um, and I also provide uh, in the course, I provide you links to those, but you can also use other methods as far as the download process is concerned. However, for our demonstration here, once you've downloaded Drupal 9.2.7 for this example, you want to take it into htdocs and just move it over here. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to change the name to maybe like, uh, this web page is going to be all about maybe call it coffee. So at this point, now that I have moved over my install here, and actually it's up to you, whenever you do the actual install, you may actually want to go one level in, cut, and actually paste the base folder in your new named folder here. So we'll give that a second to go. There we go. And I'll just delete the Drupal folder. That way now, whenever I go to localhost, I just have to type in coffee. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to jump over into XAMPP. And I'm going to start up Apache and MySQL. And just a couple of things that we'll have to do here now. Under MySQL, we're going to open up the admin. And what we're going to want to do is make a new database. We can leave it as the general CI, the UTF-8. So I'm going to call this maybe Coffee Drupal. Sync it up with my website. Friendly reminder, when you create this, make sure that you are, you remember the name of the database. You're going to have to call that later. Once again, in PHP MyAdmin, you can now see that popping up over under the PHP My Admin, I'm now ready to rock and roll as far as my Drupal install is concerned. So let me go ahead, I'm going to make a new tab, and we're going to do localhost, and I think I called it coffee. So we'll go ahead and give this a second. And just a few other things to talk about here. One thing that I do, whoops, I want to actually shrink that down a little bit, but one thing I do want to just draw your attention to is there is also a try Drupal section, which you don't actually, outside of this class, if you decide you want to play around with it some, you do have some options as far as both watching a demo, but also you can create a free account with some of these uh, websites here that will let you actually just test drive the website. You won't have a lot of control, but you'll be able to kind of do uh, some test things on a live server. So coming back here, Drupal's now ready to do the install. I'm going to choose my language. For this one, I want to go ahead just with a standard. We'll build out our website here as far as Drupal is concerned. So save and continue. OK. This caching uh, is about the site's performance. If you really wanted to, there are walkthroughs online uh, that will take you through as far as increasing uh, the PHP memory limit, how you can go into the php.ini folder. For the scope of what we're doing here, we can let this warning go. The level of work that we're doing with Drupal, it's not going to be a matter of we're going to be processing mass amounts of data or anything like that. So you can actually scroll all the way down. And what you'll have is you'll have a message about retrying, or you can just continue. For this, we're going to continue anyways. And so now it's going to bring us back into, once again, just like the other CMSs, we're going to have to configure a database. So again, friendly reminder. So I think it is Coffee Drupal. There we go. And then the database username, uh, I believe, is we kept it as root. We didn't set anything up. And it doesn't have a password. So I can save and continue. And Drupal's going to think about it for a little bit here. And then you should get the installing. Ironically, out of the other two that we've learned about Joomla and WordPress, I find that Drupal actually takes, it's not super long, as you can see, but it does kind of seem to take a little bit longer than its counterparts for CMSs. So it'll go through. It's going to do the install. 
And then the last step it's going to do, just like our other elements, is it's going to go through and ask us to set up the site name. So maybe I will call this Coffee Emporium. And I'll go ahead and do rdupont at ccac.edu. And maybe my username will be Dr. D. And um, maybe underscore Drupal set my default country so we'll scroll down here there we go so we're in new york and i don't want to receive email notifications then you save and continue and it should think for a second for you and then it should tell you you know take you to your new website and just show you the base page so there we go you can see it has congratulations you installed drupal uh, so this is probably, uh, this is an example of just a bare bones Drupal interface as far as administration is concerned, where you can see you have all of the different levels at the top here. And as we continue on, we'll get more into that. But at this point, congratulations, you've gone through and you've installed Drupal using XAMPP.